Mr. Baker, by March 8th, 2023, when SVB announced that it was selling the available for sale portion of its securities portfolio, the Fed had already implemented nine interest rate hikes. Why didn't SVB attempt to sell these securities sooner? Congressman, the decisions around when to sell the securities and what to do uh, is monitored and managed by our asset liability committee and our treasury team and overseen by our finance committee of the board. The first time that I recall uh, coming up about the possibility of selling uh, our available for sale portfolio was in the fall of or towards the end of 22. And it was decided that that at that point it didn't make the most sense. There was a belief that the rapid rise in interest rates could create and likely would create a recessionary environment and rates would actually start to go the other way. In the beginning of 2022 or 23, we realized that that was unlikely to happen and we decided to then sell the portfolio. Okay, Mr. Becker, the Fed report notes that prior to 2022, Silicon Valley Bank had interest rate risk hedges on some or all of its longer dated maturities. The Fed report further notes that over the course of 2022, the bank pursued a strategy of dropping those hedges. Can you explain why you made the decision to drop these hedges? Congresswoman, two points, and I'll get to the answer to your question. Uh, the hedges that were in place, again, set up by our asset liability committee and our treasury team, were only on a portion of our available for sale portfolio, which was a much, much smaller person portion of the securities portfolio. So I, I don't recall the specific percentage, but it was actually a small percentage of the overall portfolio. As far as the decision to sell the hedges, that decision was made by our treasury team and our asset liability committee. Wouldn't it have been more beneficial to your balance sheet to have kept those edges as long as additional interest rate hikes were on the horizon? I mean, if the Fed was clearly going to keep raising interest rates. Congresswoman, I don't know the exact rationale behind it. I, <sighs> I don't have that information. Such poor mismanagement. So reckless. There's so many paychecks, two million that were on the line, many of which in my own district, I'm just disgusted.